And this, uh, the type of bond has important consequences for how molecules behave in water, which is the universal solvent. Okay. Polar molecules, or meaning molecules that have uh, polar covalent bonds, okay, dissolve in water. And that's because water itself is a polar molecule. H2O, okay, it, it's, it's oxygen covalently bonded with two hydrogens, okay, but because oxygen is so much more electronegative than hydrogen, oxygen has a partial negative charge, and the hydrogens have partial positive charges. And these things that I'm drawing here are the lowercase Greek letter delta, okay, which is used by chemists to denote partial uh, charges. Okay. And so because of the bond angles, what we have is that every water molecule is actually a dipole okay, because of the partial charges. One end of the molecule has a positive charge or partial positive charge. The other end of the molecule has a partial negative charge. Okay. And then water molecules can interact with each other through these weak ionic interactions. And uh, the interaction between the hydrogen of a water molecule and the oxygen of another molecule is called hydrogen bonding. So the hydrogen bond represents a relatively weak interaction, electrostatic interaction, between uh, the polar hydrogen and oxygen molecules. Okay. So any organic molecules that has polar bonds can also interact with water. Okay. So water molecules will interact with uh, molecules with polar bonds okay, and that energy of interaction um, causes polar molecules to dissolve in water. However, nonpolar molecules are what we call hydrophobic. They do not want to interact with water molecules. They have no polar bonds, and so there's no basis for uh, interacting with uh, water molecules. In fact, hydrophobic molecules will interact with each other. What, by what we call hydrophobic interactions. Okay. And also a special form of weak interaction called a van der Waals uh, interaction. We're not going to take the time to explain what those are. Um, but basically, hydrophobic molecules or nonpolar molecules interact with each other, especially when they're put into an aqueous environment. They want to stay away from water um, and only keep to, to themselves. And that's what we call a hydrophobic interaction. And how these hydrophobic molecules fit together is facilitated by what we call van der Waals interactions. Okay. Whereas polar molecules interact with water molecules, dissolve in water, and they are what we call hydrophilic, meaning they love water.